All right, so I got cut off because T decided to FaceTime me after he got off of work to tell me about something that was going on. Anyway, so I had to go back and look at the footage because I couldn't remember what I recorded. My lighting is all off, y'all. I have never filmed in my room before because I always film either while we out or in my um, studio or like when we set the stuff up to do sit downs. Anywho. So I hope y'all can see me good. Um, what was I? I had a breakdown. Um, and the only reason why I had a, it wasn't necessarily a breakdown. I just had like a good cry because I had never been put to sleep before. And I was anxious about being put to sleep because I never had it before. Y'all. <laughs> I had to walk back to the operating room when i walked back there i was with two nurses and a anesthesiologist assistant or the anesthesiologist anesthesi anesthesiologist assistant which was a black girl i mean no shade or nothing but i'm just saying like anesthesiologists make some money so i'm saying shout out to you boo um and they told me to sit down. I mean, they told me to lay down like on the whatever that thing was. It wasn't a gurney. It was not a gurney. It wasn't a like a hospital bed. It was just like this thing you just lay down. It looked like I was about to go through like the thing that take you through like when the I've never had it before. I think it's the MRI. Like it looked like that, but without the little cylinder thing. So they told me to lay back. And the anesthesiologist came in and he was just like asking me how I felt. Um, the nurses were kind of doing their own little thing off to the side. The anesthesiologist assistant, she was on one side and then the anesthesiologist was on the other. Um, we need to change the batteries in our freaking smoke detector. So I hate that in other people's videos. So I'm sorry for y'all to hear that. Anyway, um... So he put the little mask over my face and he was like, we're just going to give you some oxygen. Just breathe it in a couple good times, yada, yada, yada. Then he said, okay, we're going to give you some sleepy medicine. And then I woke up. I don't even, all I heard was we're going to give you some sleepy medicine. That is the last thing I heard. I didn't hear anything after that. I don't even think that I said, okay, I was knocked the hell out so when i woke up well before i went to sleep the nurse told me everything that was going to happen they told me i was going to get put to sleep they told me that my surgery was going to be 45 minutes what well, the surgeon told me that um, my surgery was going to be 45 minutes um my surgery ended up being 55 minutes which t told me because the surgeon came out and talked to him and said well, her surgery was supposed to be 45 minutes, but it took 55 minutes. But that was because I had a hiatal hernia, which is a hernia that was in my diaphragm. I have to look it up because I remember it being told to me, but I kind of do, I kind of don't. Um, but basically it was, um, I'm all up here. It was in my diaphragm. So essentially I had surgery. He cut 80% of my, st my stomach and he had to do a hernia repair that was hiatal i think i'm saying that right um so when i woke up apparently i had been in um recovery for an hour apparently because when i woke up the nurse asked me how i felt and i was like i was looking around like did y'all do the surgery like what's going on y'all when i woke up i promise to you i had no pain i had no nausea i had nothing i felt like nothing had been done i i mean and i'm not saying that i expected pain because listen when i tell you i prayed okay prayer works and i'm just being real um i felt absolutely nothing i when they the nurse told me that i would be transported to my room in 10 minutes and then i remember being in my room so apparently i fell asleep after that and then i woke up in my room T says that he was standing over me, like, trying to make sure I was good, whatever. But apparently, I was asleep still. Um, but when I do remember, like, waking up, the first thing I said was, can I walk? <laughs> and because everybody had told me, walk, 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 sip, sip, sip. That's what the hell I was going to do. 
the nurse was like, well, we have to have you at least like sitting down or, you know, whatever, um, for at least an hour to make sure that the anesthesia has worn off because at this point in time, I was still a fall risk. Well, you're still a fall risk until you like off the IVs and stuff like that. Um, so y'all like, I was just up just like, okay, like what's next? Like I didn't have any gas pain. I didn't have any incision pain. I didn't have anything. The first night that I got up and walked, I did 15 laps, 15 laps. And I was like there, the way their, um, bariatric or their surgery, um, thing is like it's a big square but i mean it's a big rank rectangle but there's a like a you can only do half which would make it a square i was going around the whole rectangle the nurses were looking at me like because it was four bariatric surgeons that day surgeries that day from my surgeon i was the only one up and walking one of the girls said that she had a lot of gas pain like up in her shoulder so i offered her some gas sex but she said that the nurse was going to give her some so i was like cool the other guy, he just looked like he was in a lot of pain. I didn't know, like, I didn't get to talk to him, but um, we had to take, like, a nutritional class before we left. Um, and then the other lady, I think that she may have been a um, revision because she had uh, the bypass, but she wasn't really big. So I thought that maybe she had, like, VSG or um, the other one. I can't remember what it's called, <clears throat> but the lap band i think she had either one of those and had to convert to a bypass i believe because she looked like she was already small not like super small but she looked like she wouldn't just offhand need a, by a by bypass um so yeah so my nurses were amazing my cpts um they were amazing isn't that what it's called C certified patient technicians I believe they're a CPT. Um, they were amazing. Like, everybody was amazing. Um, Dr. Richard came in, um, and he basically explained to me about the hiatal hernia. He said I was doing great. Everything was wonderful. And I just kept asking him, like, are you sure you did something? Because it don't feel like nothing. Like, I never had any pain, never had any nausea, never had any gas pain. So... I'm blessed, honestly. Like, I'm seriously blessed. Um, the only thing that I did have was I had shortness of breath. Um, but of course I had surgery on my diaphragm. So I didn't realize like what you use your I realized what you use your diaphragm from, but you don't realize it until you have to use it after it's been cut on, and then you're like, Oh, okay, well maybe I won't do that. So I was getting out of breath a lot. Um also, I'm not one of those people that just like to sit around. Like, I wanted to get up and do stuff. And, yeah, I was doing things. But one day I got up and started vacuuming. And I looked in my little book and it was like, you can't wash. Like, you can't wash dishes. You can't vacuum. You can't mop. You can't change the sheets on the bed. Y'all, I almost lost it. I was like, I got to do something. So I got up and vacuumed, not realizing. Then I was out of breath. And then, of course, T was like, sit your ass down because I told your ass to sit down. But other than that, I've had no issues. I am going to come back with a video um, showing basically um, my update so far, what I've been eating, what stage I'm on. Um, I'll be talking about my clear liquid diet. Y'all, I didn't want to film shit while I was on that clear liquid diet. It wasn't hard. But I didn't want to talk about it. Like, I did go through that phase. Like, I want you can know that I'm on it, but I don't want the whole conversation to be a 30-minute conversation. Oh, you can't eat? Girl, I would lose my mind if I couldn't eat. Like, girl, okay. Well, I got to do what I got to do. So, we'll talk about my liquid surgery. Um, liquid surgery. My liquid diet. And I'll be back. See you guys later. Bye. Good morning, everyone. Today is post-op day one. Um, I'm feeling great. I don't have any issues. I haven't had any complications. Um, I just got back from taking my leak test and I passed. So I am now um, getting ready to eat my breakfast. Um, right now I have... Abby, can you help me? So right now I have a bottle of water. 
uh, some broth, some decaffeinated coffee, uh, sugar-free gelatin, um, decaffeinated tea, and I don't know, is that ice? Yeah, that's your hot water for your tea. Oh, okay. So, I have my gelatin. Can you grab my... I don't know. I'm not grabbing. That, my crystal. I have a crystal light packet of uh, peach tea. I asked for help, and he just standing here watching. All right, what you need? Water. A Dasani. That's horrible water, though. Just the stack. <laughs> Half water. Um, and then. Get a drink of little medicine cups. Yeah. She has to measure how many cups she can get in. And then this is my broth. My. I'm showing my fat. Oh, they can't see that. And then point to that because I can't. That's my uh, decaffeinated coffee. With nothing. Yeah. Um, but I just wanted to come and check back in. I've had <clears throat> I've had no troubles. Um, they took my catheter out this morning. Um, the leak test tasted horrible. It was so nasty, but I passed, so I don't care. <laughs> um, the staff here is amazing. Um, what else? Doctor. Oh yeah, the doctor brought me in the teddy bear. I'll show it to y'all later. Babe has been taking it like a G proud of you thank you i'm still hooked up to my ivs um but they did take my heart monitor off and they did take my um catheter out like i said um so yeah i'm about to attempt to eat some jello and then i'm gonna wait 30 minutes and then i'll start on my um water water oh crap Quit touching it. i didn't realize i touched it when you rolled the bottom of it I know. It's okay. Just quit touching it. She said if I touch it though, I could dilate my eyes. Yeah. I need. Don't Leave need. it alone. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Um. So yeah. So I'll come back to you all. Um. I'm supposed to go to a nutrition, probably either a class or the nutritionist is gonna come to the room. <clears throat> like I said, I haven't had any pain. I just had shortness of breath. That was the first time that it ever happened. But anyways, I'll come back um, once something else happens because it's kind of uneventful right now. Um, but I just wanted to let you all know that everything went great and I'll be back.